Hey everybody, welcome to Secret Anima. Today we are going to go over why some horses called warm bloods. Warm blood horses possess that exact blood temperature just like all other horses. The merely fusion between some of the stable horses of cold blood and the active horses of hot blood. They have been bred to be athlete with good temperament. Warm blood are favored nowadays in all fields of English eventing. The first warm blood track back at least 300 years. Some equine students believe warm blood go much further back in history to the 13th century with the Holstein breed. Through the years, warm blood evolved into a versatile horses used in farming, riding, and pulling carriages. At the age of the machine, advanced warm blood will breed with the emphasis of sports and recreation. Modern warm bloods are fierce competitor and excel in athletic contest. They are best known for the superior performance in show jumping, dressage, and eventing. Warm blood horses is an athletic horses drive by crossbreeding cold large draft breeds with smaller quick hot horses breed. They typically exhibit a calm temperament inherited from the cold blooded breed and their hot blooded ancestor Atlantic ability. Warm blood horses excel in many equine sporting events, competition such as show jumping, dressing and eventing. Warm blood is a hybrid version of cold and hot blooded horses. When coach horses or battle horses were combined with the Arabian and throwbirds, warm bloods were bred in the Europe. The corresponding warm bloods were much more polished than the cold blooded but broader and better temper than the hot bloods. Horses are called warm blood because they mix of hot and cold blooded horses. They are blood from horse hot, warm and cold blooded. The classification has a little to be with their body temperature, effect of their temperament rather than the temperature of the blood that is instantly linked to classification. Warm blooded horses trace their roots to be healthy, high strung horses that were typically hard to handle. These hot horses had desired athletic ability but needed a calmer demeanor. As well as cold blooded horses, often large draft breeds were introduced to their bloodline. The result in large Atlantic horses with a calm temperament that is smart and easy to train. Over a century of selective crossbreeding, you end up with the horses with the best all of the blood. These crossbred horses have been bone mass, solid muscles, cold blooded and hot blooded speed and capacity competitions such as show jumping, etc. Warm blooded shine. This is not a suggest that the purebred horses may not be successful at any sport in question. Example cylinder says in dress rush. It's just usually the warm blood perform exceptionally well, having been specially geared to perform well in such an operation. But also beware the horses are individuals and some hot blood horses may have a calm nature and cold blooded horses is hard to handle, much like there are hyperactive Arabians, some are level headache enough for you to bring around children without worry. For a draft horses, it is the same. You will find those that are cool, laid back, conveyed, and again, you will also find another that the quicker, irritated, tough to manage. Due to overly generous perceptions of such breed, many horses bred to make warm blooded. One of the earliest warm blood in the Turkener derived by crossbreeding, throwbred, Arabian, and Sigurancy horses. This new horses was versatile and become the foundation for many successful warm blood breeds, including Hanoverian. On certain instances, the local breeds, including the ride and drive breeds like the Calendar warm blood, developed in the Netherlands, were the canter type. With the addition of the Little Polish by Throwbird and Occasion Arabian Enhancement Series, the Dutch warm blood came into existence. If you look at the sporting horses around the world, you will notice some trends regarding warm blooded. There are few dominant foundation breeds and several others that are frequently used to produce warm blooded and various of this base breed. These base breeds are Hanoverian, Holstander, Sally Francis, and Trek Hunter in chronographic order. Furthermore, the so called refining race breeds English, Throwbird, and Arabian have increased. Dutch warm bloods, American warm blood, and Irish draft comprise some example of cross-beating hybrid to produce 
Atlantic warm blood but not restricted to the warm blood period. There has been steady rise in aqueous region activities over the last 50 years because of the warm blood dominance in equation event and the increase in activities. Warm bloods are in high demand. They have also gained popularity because of the exposure during Olympic competition. New breeding projects were introduced and so were using the same formula to mixture four warm blood traits foundation as mentioned, mixed with the dominance of throbin while the Arab has shared certain crown. In some instances, these base breeds have been used for a local form of strong warm blood quite frequently. Others start with the throwbed mare base, Australia, New Zealand, other followed these base breeds. There is also no question to certain species warm blood are closely connected still and it not be denied there are base breed with the distinct genes and variation in livestock, different breeding philosophies and mating policy. The Holstein breed claimed to be the first warm blood breed. They began in northern Germany over 700 years ago by Mox. This Mox selectively bred the small native horses to increase their size and strength. The result was robust, thin horse suitable for carrying a heavy load and working in the land. The breeding program produced the perfect steed to carry a knight landed with armor. However, a time passed, quick strength in Calvarian became more popular, so as Malfur Chains, who did the Hollister breed that evolved into lighter, faster horses with great strength. Modern Hollister are bred precisely toward leaping. Hollister is one of the world's top show jumping breed today with its use of international blood Hollister breeder and are very picky. The Trackender horses is also credited with the being one of the earliest warm blood breeds. They developed in the 18th century because of the need for cavalry mount that was fast and lighter than the traditional heavy and big bond horse on the times. The horse is tough not only needed to be fast but they had to be strong enough to carry a knight wearing heavy armor or pole plow if required. Thus, the Trackender warm blood was created to meet these needs. Before the start of World War II, the Trekkoner was perhaps Germany primary horse riding breed and it was very common armor in house and was effectively used as horses so to dominate equestrian events in the early days of military office. In 1735, as the Leinster stable in Germany, the Havodian breed were established and these horses were bred to be stout work horses and used to pull cart farming and military. There is an old saying that should may have while the sun shine, meaning we should take advantage of favorable circumstances. But with the economy in slump and passion for the sport that include equipment that eat while we sleep, many of us have a whole lot of month left at the end of the money. To avoid robbing banks and restoring to extreme, we have put together some side hustles, suggestion to help you make additional income. Please subscribe to our channel and click on bell icon so you cannot miss any new video launch. Thank you.